Welcome to Class Geometry students on this Monday the 12th. Hope you guys are doing well today. Hope you had a nice weekend and I hope you're ready to finish the last week of the semester working hard, okay? Um, I did not give you guys a schedule for the week because um, it's pretty much either review for your exam or take the exam, alright? Now your exam is Wednesday at 1.20. Are you listening, guys? Let me talk about this. The schedule says that your exam on Wednesday starts at 1.45, okay? Not for you guys, because the schedule that day is 1 through 6th hour, normal classes, and then exam at 1.45. But since we're already going to be in the room, <coughs> sorry, we are going to start the exam, Mrs. Duke, on Wednesday as soon as the bell rings. So whatever time the bell rings, 1.20 or 125, that's when the exam starts. Okay, guys? Understand that. All right. Ethan, your exam is Thursday at 8.15. Now listen, Ethan, on Wednesday during fourth hour, you will not have any geometry to do. Okay? Because sixth hour does not have a regular class. Okay, so bring something to do that day, Ethan, in class. Treat it like it's a study hall. Okay, thank you. Nothing to turn in. There was no homework given to you guys on Friday. Excuse me again. <clears throat> okay, incompletes, guys. No one turned in. Well, well, I take that back. Ethan did. Everybody except Ethan owes me test corrections by tomorrow or it'll be too late to turn those in. They will become permanent zeros. Now a couple of you turned them in, two or three of you, but you did not you did not have them completed, okay? So you've got to turn them in completed by tomorrow, everyone, okay? All right. Um today we are taking a test. So let's go ahead and go over the test at this time. Remember, if you're in the room, then you need to take the test. Remember the policy, guys. If you're in the room on the day of a test or a quiz, you will take it. Unless you contacted me before that day. Okay? All right. So at this time, Mrs. Duke, please pause the video. Please pass out the test. And then we'll go over the test together. Okay. One page should be filled in the blanks, okay? So numbers 1 through 10, well, numbers 1 through 9, fill in the blank in the number 10 listing question, okay? Now, moving on to your test. Please cross off number 5, okay? That's a trapezoid. We've not covered that yet. And then also, please cross off 13 through 18, okay? Cross off 13 through 18. Okay, now, one, two, and three, um, put yes or no, it's a polygon or it's not. If it is, tell me if it's um, concave or convex, okay? One, two, and three, tell me if it's a polygon. If it's not, that's all you put. If it is, tell me if it's concave or convex. Uh, number four, solve for X. Number six, um, solve for those three angles. Now, seven through 11, tell whether the quadrilateral is a parallelogram. And then tell me your reasoning. So, you're gonna put in each blank, number seven through 11, you're going to put, yes, it's a parallelogram, and you're gonna tell me why, or you're gonna put, no, it's not, and you're gonna tell me why, okay? Number 12, um, Tell me whether or not that quadrilateral is a parallelogram and explain why, okay? That's all for today, students. Please get to work on your test. Have a great day. Contact me if you have any questions at all. They were